I think it can probably make the Bear Clan more playable. I don't really mind, to be honest. Do I? Because I should be fine with also going for the Oasis oh, Relic. But if I can go for the Jar, I go for the Jar, of course. Gotta see that I get my happiness straight. Let's see how we can make that happen. Music for me a little. I hope there's not too much ambient sound. Like if you're getting annoyed by trains, cars, and everything, say say something, then I might as well just uh, close the window here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody has no chill. You tried to calm him down. Yeah, generally yes. Generally yes. Okay. Put that dog. I don't really want to build a house there. A house gives him resources, right? I can also not ignore all coastal tiles here. So he wants to go second winter, right? That is very aggro. Don't think we need to be in the second winter. Like, we kind of gotta attack in 802 with the combo that we have, definitely. Because in 803, it can definitely outboom us. But I'm not too scared. Hmm. Definitely need to stop the dog. Not having enough food to actually have two sailors all the time right now. Can we scout a second ring? We still have to scout that tile up there. Probably do. Minus one still. Hmm. Need a new build to come out. Hopefully I don't get too unhappy here. Was the wolf didn't scout that tower yet? Gonna have a rough time clearing us anyway. Oh yeah, he can jump the Valkyries here. Oh, he can even go around and kill wolves. But, oh, he can also jump the drawbers. Okay, maybe it's kind of possible. You can't hear the train that is just passing by, being very annoyingly loud. That would be lovely. Should've probably gone for that first. But then we can build the forge on here. I don't think the raven gets resources for my forge. Yeah, that's the thing, that's the thing. But... For Jar... Uh, I still like to go for the risk because the relic is just so insane. You're correct. I have a tough time here. I'm trying to get on the 40 feet to go for that tile. A lot of coastal ones, by the way. Yikes, man. He can steal a lot of stuff here. 
Move my scout back for now. Eco's on full stop. It's not too nice. Keep that up. Hmm. Wolf should be ready soon. Oh, we need 100 food. Train rides! Woo! I only hear it when you are talking. Yeah, that's the thing, right? <laughs> Gets cut out by the noise gate when I'm not talking. I don't know, I might have to close the window here, at least throughout the games. Will I even have enough gold to rush the relic? I probably won't. Maybe I even go for 200 first. Oh. That's needed. Pretty late excavation here. Law wise, yeah, very far behind. How do we go farm first? Oh no, that's gonna be tough. Generally gonna be tough, but We're too much probably. I might just go upgrade uh, Willem's Forge first, just so I am uh, even able to get something there. Does he have spoils already, seemingly? That's good. Definitely was on the lore first, faster than me then. not be the easiest winter that I have here since I don't really have a way to gain some food to gain efficient food that is that's of course helpful the farm will not help me I'm just gonna try to gain food like this Let's just do it like that. We are definitely fine throughout the winter. Problem is we need to wait a while for the relic then. But we are so far away from it right now, just skipping on it. Might just be the best thing that we can do. Then we have 200 for the relic, so it's going to be forged a lot quicker than it would be otherwise. Like this, we should be fine for the winter. Then we need this tile here pretty quickly. Oh, magic. We're quite broad here on bear. I like that. A lot of food. Start. Probably going harpoons here. Seemingly.
Switching some stack guides and have two students. How much fame does they boost to the eco stack? I thought that there's no read to rush the stack fame lore. So there was only a fame victory that doesn't boost the eco as much. And does stack not almost always want both silo lores as they are really good? Uh, oftentimes, when you play more aggro and more. 801 ish or 802 ish you're gonna go for colonization because the stack clan is then the clan that uh, colonizes close to your opponent because yeah the supply lines debuff right and you also want high fame otherwise because you usually have an altar so the altar will give you more resources when your fame is higher go for the fame bonus already and um your 500 bonus also gives you was that bound to fame or was that bound to how many tiles you have the 500 bonus of stack just fail to remember i think it might actually be bound to how many tiles you have was it fame that your eco gets stronger tied to fame okay yeah then that's also what you want to boost there, basically. You now my chiefs have nothing to do. It's not good. And 80 food quickly. Do that right after the winter. Yeah, three percent. Yeah, so you would like to have a one K fame, right? Thanks, guys. Mine. So you would like to have high fame before already, not only bound to the fame win. Who? Why is there a max? Because everything without a max gets out of control. <laughs> uh, in free for all, stack fame is already so much out of control that like the altar will give you that many resources that it's just stupid yeah we are far from that that's probably the stack <laughs> go Hmm? Yeah, it makes sense. That makes a sense. And the raven's gonna get so much gold from me because I will definitely go docks here. I need this tile there. I just amassed some gold. Pretty sure it wouldn't make any clan scale indefinitely, right? No, no, no. Infinitely. <laughs> no, never. Never, never. <laughs> Why would they do that? And there. Uh, owl clan doesn't exist. Ox clan doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> not a problem that the game is after a certain moment. Not really. Not really, definitely. There can always be stalemates in strategy games, but the stalemates should be because the player skill is just equal, you know? And just there's no other way. Like imagine two clans being mirrored and everybody bringing exactly the same army to everything because they do the same things basically just as good. 
And it can, of course, always be stalemate but it shouldn't be given by the mechanics of the game. The stalemate just happens. Look at that, two pairs. Aren't they juicy? Yes. Yes, take him. It could that should be the stack though, so the fame uh, the raven shouldn't be too far in fame yet. I have my two hundred. Slay that sheep there. We go for the next tile. Oh yeah, quality of life. I wanted to upgrade this dock, but I probably need to upgrade this dock. But both of them will get raided in not too far future, so Make the biggest difference. Question is if I should even still go relic here. The wolf wants to go that quickly. out here red and line also yeah basically basically Go to scout camp Can upgrade the scout camp and the second dock probably then. As soon as my blessing hits. Go. Oh yeah, need to wait for the blessing. Right. Should go both relics, yeah. <laughs> it really depends on how aggro they want to be. The thing is we didn't get raided yet, so we might have a little bit of time here. Second scout out. There's a lot of map to go still, so... I think we should be fine. Next house. Oh yeah, we are fame leading here, so... We should be fine. Oh yeah, we can upgrade the second dock. Gold is definitely needed. I can already get a camp. I'm gonna do that after the feast is done. The house building will can just do that afterwards. Land Raven negotiations surprise. Maybe? Maybe? <laughs> Good thing is I think all the minerals from the coast are gone. 
There's nothing super interesting for him to grab anymore. Scouting. Get the warrior upgrade. A cheap tile when you think about it. I might still go for bodyguard here because I will not reach anything else early enough. As long as the sheep is going to survive, which is not going to be super long. Is boosting my eco a bit. Boosting my eco a little bit. Do I have two woodcutters over there? Yeah. I guess I would have shifted the other one over there now. Yep, yep. Alright. I'll kill the sheep soonish. Not Whitney anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes a lot. <laughs> so quickly. Well, how's the film called? The movie, rather. What's up, Noob Seeker? Quite well, quite well. Thanks for asking. How about you? Time to kill the sheep. Yeah. If I'm unhappy, get some happiness. Probably also upgrade the brewery soon. Oh yeah, we have two low villagers. Yeah, that's also pulling it down a little bit. Could already help our eco. Think pretty high happiness. We're not even going to starve. I don't know if somebody wants the uh, magic also doesn't seem to be all too invested in military experience. So I might as well just get my 50 from the ghosts. Is 500. Nothing spawn on the coast. Yeah. Hmm. Got a third scattered. Okay, somebody's in the front again in fame. Which I would think is the stack. Okay, okay. That's just how it goes. The wolf wants them. Well, then you take them. He's running there pretty instantly. Oh, now we have extra lore on our relation with magic. He's betraying me or something. Why do we have good relations? Is it because he boosts me with his chief? Does this give me a relation? Is that possible?
39 happiness. We want to build camps on the tiles that are um, coastal. can't reach it so why should I really scout it behind the giants Let me do it like that but the house is not on the coast So time for another brewer. Take next video out of the uh, relic. Oh wow, yeah. It is quite the convert, noob seeker. <laughs> Get Mo on there then. Oh, man. I want to take the iron away from him. So he cannot take it from me. The wolf is reacting pretty instantly. Maybe this should be a healer set. Don't really care too much about the other wolf. Stag is way more interesting. Yeah, yeah, they can't even reach each other from the back, so too important. The other wolf is now adding camps. Seems like they want to dance soon. Lako? Just before. Oh, the other wolf is really popping some army right there. Okay. Hey, dude, bring it back, though. Thought we need to take action now, let's say. Go ahead. Don't need that many brewers anymore. But they don't have a raven. Oh, they changed. Changed to both last sec. Oh, yikes, yeah. Uh oh. Well, that could have been a second farm, right? That here? Pretty nice second farm. <laughs> okay. 
small freighter. I also react. I think I should also react. We might even be able to shut the door now. Not a bad timing to have a fight. Done. I also sent them here and not here because I thought, okay, I don't want the raven over here. Probably go towards the wolf. He needs to run through the. Oh! I killed him? Wolf is on the other side, though. I don't want to fuck up his micro, so I'm just gonna let him pull him because I'm always having problems with that. Oh, okay, let's go. YOLO. Only really starting. And I'm also right here, more like a second pressure point. I don't think this attack will kill anybody. So they are sweating because the wolf comes from one side, coming from the other. We'll probably pan over now. Do they do? Magic is in there, I might as well just do that here. Blue is coming back. Good fight, Blue. <laughs> oh, three warriors. Yeah. Okay, main is open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this should be enough already. Bodyguard. Just in time. That had quite some army here. Okay. Uh, 
standing right at the border. Oof. Tough entry there. On such a small path. You're just running right into the meat grinder now. Like, this could have been a closer fight, but... Oh, no, the wolf is also here. Oh, okay, the wolf is here with eight people. Okay, I didn't even see that. That's a lot of Hall of Scouts, man. Five. Five. Holy moly. I think he wants to push fame victory? Did he want to push fame victory? I think he wanted to push fame victory, right? Talk overrated too? I don't really think so. Could be it. Hey ho, hey ho. No. Oof. This guy, that's savage. Uh, GG's, we're played. Nice game here. For the fame victory. Yeah. Trying to squeeze that through. I weren't all too aware of it. I hope the <laughs> wolf or magic saw that coming. Then maybe going earlier 802 would have been a little bit... <laughs> to just get the stack out of uh, getting too much fame there. Put it the other hand. It's probably again the moment you click the lore, right? Um, yes. Between September and October. Yeah, glory of the clan. <laughs> and you see the big bump in fame. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game here. Yeah? If you could swap with the wolf, okay. We made timing. If you time taking the lore and taking the tiles better, yeah, probably right, probably. Like, I didn't realize like that, but you can't really take that as the um, as the bar, right? Because I don't realize stuff generally. I don't, I get free uh, <laughs> alerts that I'm going to get attacked by ghosts soon, and I just don't realize it. I'm still surprised when they come. So, <laughs> I guess I'm just not a good <laughs> way to scale this, basically. But uh, yeah, if you time that correctly, obviously, because it's pop, 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 and nobody realizes it. Surprise fame win, pick lore win 800 fame, alter 90%. And food for two zones and two zones gifted by teammates. Yeah, that's how quickly you can get it through. What's up, Ray? <laughs> uh, 40 days and 40 nights, okay. What's up, man? Hope you're having a good one. Welcome to the stream. Why doesn't the text-to-speech the subs, though? 
It's something I still need to fix, definitely. <laughs> you can't put subtext in, but it doesn't read it. 